Let's make a sample instrument out of these. In the last video, we made a sampled piano instrument in about a minute from just one sample. And whilst it sounded okay, it didn't sound great. This is because depending on the root note, it knows to slow the sample down when you play below it and speed it up when you play above it. Now, if I were to do that with my voice, you'd instantly hear that it sounds weird. Or even scary. To get a more realistic sound, we need to mitigate against the sampler changing the speed of the samples too much. This is called multi-sampling, and most virtual instruments are multi-sampled. So we have one note per octave, C1 to C6. Chop the starts in the door of your choice, and I'm going to do some nice fade-outs like these. Export or bounce your files. Now I'm going to build this in two different sample players. Contact and skip along to this time code to see it done in Logic's multi-sampler. Open an instance of contact. Double click on this blank pane here to create a new instrument. Click on spanner to go under the hood. Hit mapping editor and simply drag your samples onto the grid. Now I'm gonna place each sample on the correct note from C1 to C6. Then I need to check that each root note is correct. Root notes tell the sampler what the original pitch of each sample was. Great, these are all good. So that's all the C's, but what about the notes in between? We need to spread the samples out. In contact, control click on the zones. Go into auto map functions and then click on auto spread via root key and boom. So it's taken each sample with a root at C and spread it down to the nearest F sharp and then up to the nearest F natural. Over the years, I've found that samples don't always sound that great when pitched up. Check out the video and link above and below where I talk about that. So I often prefer just to pitch the samples down manually. You'll hear instantly that it has a mellower tone. I've saved both versions so you can compare yourself. So a multi-sampled instrument is quite simply a sample instrument with more than one sample. And like anything in music, the minute you introduce more than one thing, you'll need to balance and tweak the sounds against each other from time to time. The mapping editor is the closest you'll get to a mix environment in a sampler. So not only do you determine where the sample is on the grid and what is its original pitch, but also its pan, volume and fine pitch tuning parameters. This is where you make sure your instrument is balanced. Take for example this last C, compared to the one before, I'd say it's a bit hot. And in order to balance this instrument, maybe I could re-attenuate that sample by maybe minus 6 dB. If you'd like to try and build this instrument yourself, click on the links in the video description below for the original WAV, but also this sample instrument so you can look under the hood yourself. This video is brought to you by Pianobook, a community of like-minded composers who make and share sounds for free. If this video has been useful for you, hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to see the next video in this series. Any questions or requests for future videos, place them in the comments down below. Open an instance of Logic Multisampler, hit Mapping, and simply drag your samples onto the grid. Now I'm going to place each sample on the correct note from C1 to C6. Then I need to check that each root note is correct. Root notes tell the sampler what the original pitch of each sample was. So that's all the C's, but what about the notes in between? We need to fill in the gaps. Click on Zone, Remap, then fill gaps and boom. So it's taken each sample with a root at C and spread it down to the closest G and then up to the closest F sharp. Over the years, I've found that samples don't always sound that great when pitched up. Check out the video and link above and below where I talk about that. So I often prefer just to pitch the samples down manually. You'll hear instantly that it has a mellower tone. I've saved both versions so you can compare yourself. So a multi-sampled instrument is quite simply a sample instrument with more than one sample. And like anything in music, the minute you introduce more than one thing, you'll need to balance and tweak the sounds against each other from time to time. The mapping editor is the closest you'll get to a mix environment in a sampler. So not only do you determine where the sample is on the grid and what is its original pitch, but also its pan, volume and fine pitch tuning parameters. This is where you make sure your instrument is balanced. Take, for example, this last C 
compared to the one before, I'd say it's a bit hot. And in order to balance this instrument, maybe I could re-attenuate that sample by maybe minus 6 dB. If you'd like to try and build this instrument yourself, click on the links in the video description below for the original WAV, but also this sample instrument so you can look under the hood yourself. This video is brought to you by Pianobook, a community of like-minded composers who make and share sounds for free. If this video has been useful for you, hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to see the next video in this series. Any questions or requests for future videos, place them in the comments down below.